lot of you are asking me, hey, give us some tips on how to find a cheap place in Columbia. And I got some notes here. I just want to say first and foremost, I'm not a pro. I went to Columbia to get away. I love Medellin, Columbia. Oh man, it's a beautiful place. And these are just some tips that I found out myself and things that I did to find a cheap apartment for me. So tip one, uh, start exploring neighborhoods around the city, around the area. And then when you see buildings and you see nice neighborhoods that you, you resonate with your, your soul, your body resonate with, you feel good in, and you talk to people and you figure out if it's safe or not for you, and you'll when you're walking around, you'll see like signs and some of the signs will be like for rent, for sale, and then they'll have a number. Download WhatsApp if you don't already have it and you message that number and you use the translator to translate and say, hey, how much does this cost? Can I see pictures? Can I view it? That's, that's uh, the first tip. Second, you know, um, I started to visit Sweet George's Cafe or different cafes around the city. Obviously, if you've never been, you won't know until you go there and you'll meet a lot of other expats or Americans or people traveling like you and you just start to ask, hey, where are you staying? Oh, I'm saying this Airbnb is this much, it's this much, it's that much. And so you just network that way. Um, uh, thirdly, I know there's a lot of like uh, Facebook groups and stuff like that. You can um, ask, uh, join Medellin expats groups or whatever and you can ask them and then they've been out there or they heard word of mouth or they've been there for years and then they can tell you, hey, uh, this place, call this number. This is the person I'm, I'm going through. Um, um, and the best, the best that you can do, I believe, is to find locals, like translate, become friends with locals and they can tell you the decent spots. But um, the most important thing that you have to realize is that we are Americans people look at us like we have a lot of money. So there will be some locals and there will be some people that own the Airbnbs or apartments. They will try to charge you more money, obviously, than the locals uh, can afford because you're American, they assume you have money. So yes, there's, you will find out that there, once you get to know people, there's gonna be a place for 350 USD that has two bedrooms, three baths, that's, that's big and large. A caveat to that, it depends on the area and it depends on who you know, because not saying they're screwing you over, but they don't make a lot of money. So therefore, if if, if you're American or whatever, and you want to go there and they, they think they can make more money off you, a lot of times they'll do that. Not saying it's right or wrong. So basically, locals can tell you, oh, I'm paying this much. This is how much you should pay. But hey, you're a gringo, so you might pay this much. So it's a quick three minute video. I, I hope this helps. And so let's recap. Find a neighborhood you like, walk around, look for signs. Um, go to nice restaurants and ask other expats and Americans, hey, or locals in the restaurant, hey, where you stay? How do you do that? Uh, three Facebook groups. Four, meet locals and ask them. Anyway, I hope this helps, guys. Uh, comment below if it did help. And again, I'm rushing, but I just want to get this video out here. Thank you very much. Have a good day. God bless. <laughs>